to do is suppose i choose any one node any random node assume i chosen i chosen one so first i choose that then i will pick up any any one of those nodes in bfs what we used to do we used to explore this node completely and we we were supposed to go through each node but in case you are using dfs what we have to do we will choose any one of the nodes now it is up to you how which particular node you want to choose suppose after one i have chosen after one i have chosen three in the previous case if it was bfs then i am supposed to do it other way out here if i have chosen one then suppose i i i pick up three and after that i have to choose the other nodes also and then like that is a node of one and i will be choosing the third node also now after that once you can choose them in one order any order after that what you need to do is you need to go back to this list visitor list then you pick up the second node from here once you pick up the second node from here then you need to explore this second node once you explore it whatsoever is the adjacent node of it we are supposed to put it in the visitor list so i'll put a 4 in the list then i will see whether is there any other adjacent node of 3 except 4 because in this there is only one adjacent node so what we need to do is we need to go back here on 3 So three is completely explored. Now what we are supposed to explore? We are supposed to explore node number five. So I'll go to five, and I'll see. I'll see whether there is any unvisited node for five or not. And you can see five is connected with that of one, as well as it is connected with six. But out of these five, uh, one and six, one is already visited, so we are not supposed to do anything with it. the only node that we should be concerned about is node number 6 fine enough and there is no other node which is attached with that of 5 that we need to visit so what we can do is we can move forward so 5 is completely explored or 3 are completely explored now we'll go to 2 we'll look out for all the adjacent nodes for 2 the adjacent nodes for 2 are 1 and 6 but before we put them up in this list or in the queue we need to cross verify are they already there in the list if they are already there in the list then we are supposed to do nothing this one as well as six they are already there in the list right so it means this is also completely explored now we will move to the next adjacent node some other node in the graph that is four so when i go at four here then i will see what are the adjacent nodes for four The adjacent node for four is seven. So next thing that you need to see is whether it was explored earlier or not. And you can very well see we do not have seven explored earlier. So what we are supposed to do? We need to add it up in the given list. So seven will be added in the visitor list. And this four is also done. Now we'll go to six. Once we go to six, we cross verify the adjacent nodes for six. adjacent nodes for 6 are 5 2 that's it 5 and 6 both of them are already explored they are there in the list and we do have 5 here we do have 2 here so they are already explored so what we need to do we need to do nothing and after that so 6 is done we'll do the final traversal on this particular node so this last node and node we'll see is there any other adjacent node to it or not in the given graph there is no adjacent node so we will stop here fine so this process is as you know it is done with the help of queue queues will help you out in keeping a track that which particular vertex i am supposed to traverse after doing a one traversal like 1 3 5 is there right मुझे कैसे पता लगेगा नेक्स्ट वाला कहां से करना है दैट आई विल गेट टू नो फ्रॉम द क्यू वेयर आई एम पुटिंग अप द एलिमेंट्स दिस इज अ बेसिक थिंग अबाउट द बीएफएस दैट वी हैव डन अर्लियर आल्सो आई हैव रिपीटेड इट वंस अगेन फॉर दोस हु हु जस्ट फॉरगेट अबाउट इट और जस्ट टू ब्रश अप द कांसेप्ट फॉर यू राइट नाउ लेट्स सी दैट हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट ऑफ बीएफएस इन बीएफएस यू कैन सी दैट फर्स्ट टू स्टेप्स आर सेम फर्स्ट आई ट्रैवर्स वन 
then i will traverse any other node any other node which is uh, like there are three nodes three two uh, sorry three five and two they are associated with one they are the adjacent or you can say neighboring nodes of your one but we will not go to every other node we will go we will choose any one so i have chosen three here fine enough now i will not go here so what i need to do is i need to go i need to go as deep as i can go as deep means after three i'll see what are the adjacent nodes of three the adjacent node of my three is four so from three i will move to four i put it up in the traverse or the visited list after four then i will see whether there is any other unvisited node which is related with that of four yes there is so from four i will go to seven now once you reach at seven you need to repeat the step again now what is the step that you repeat you need to again check is there any node which is adjacent to seven but you can very well see there is no node which is uh, after seven there is no leaf node or no adjacent node of seven so as in when you come across or as in when you 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 happen to have one dead end where you cannot move forward so what you need to do is so this is my first step second step third step after my third step you can very well see that we cannot move forward so what we need to do then we need to go back right so we will go from 7 to 4 now you will get to know whether you need to go from 7 to 4 or somewhere else that i will explain that is done with the help of stack top i will talk about it in a while so from 7 we will go back to 4 so when we are going back from 7 to 4 the only purpose of going back is that you want to see is there any other unvisited node related with 4 expose that this is not like earlier it was not good expose this is the case so when you reached at 7 you to backtrack backtrack to 4 you reached back at, at 4 when you reach at 4 you will again try to find out is there any unvisited node in your stack uh, in in your graph then you can get to see 4 is associated with that of 8 so in that case after 7 you are supposed to put up 8 also because earlier you were visiting 7 and when you backtrack to 4 you got to know that there is one unvisited node which is 8 so you will put it up in the this is this as if now i am removing it so assume there is no other node that was just for you to understand that in case there was some other node then we have to try that also so once you get to know that there is no adjacent node attached with it you will again go back here like this is fourth step this is fifth step now we will go back again from c we will again check is there any unvisited node if there is no unvisited node then you will go back so when you go back this will be my sixth step i will reach back at my first node right the first node from where we started so when i reach at sixth node like uh, by doing the sixth step i will reach at first step once i reach at this first node i will check is there any unexplored node of my uh, node 1 any is there any unexplored node for this unexplored or you can say unvisited node for 1 we have already visited 3 do we have any unexplored or unvisited neighbors of 1 available to us tell me we do have some unvisited nodes when i check this i can very well see five is not there in this list it means five is the unvisited one so i will put it up five in my list so you know that you have five as well as two now it is up to you uh, whether you want to go this route or you want to go that route depending upon the node you, that you pick up according to that the traversal order will be little bit different so i have gone with this so i will go from 1 to 
here. So that is my seventh step, you can say. After this, I reach a five. Now I will see whether there is any adjoining node for five. Yes, there is one adjoining node that is six. Then you will cross check is it already listed or not? No, it is not listed. So you will put it up in the traverse list. And then you will check out six. This six is attached with any other neighboring node. Yes, it is uh, attached with two and it is also not listed yet. So you will go from six to two. When you reach at two, you will see is there any adjoining node of two? Yes, there are two adjoining nodes of two. One is six, other one is one. But when you have a look at this visitor list, you already know six is already there. One is already there. So we will not be putting up one again in the stack. So this is the final traversal of your BFS. Where you, have, you will traverse it in this nature 1, 3, 4, 7, 5, 6, 2. And there can be some other order also. It is not compulsory that you will always get that order. I have repeated time and again that this order can be different. Because it purely is dependent on the second node that you choose. You can assume that if uh, like suppose instead of choosing two, uh, so instead of choosing choosing three, suppose I earlier I chose two. So in that case, the order would have been different. In that case, I could have gone from one to two, two to six, six to five, and then that's it. And after that, I will go to this three, and four, and seven. Then in that case, the order will be different. This is how you do the DFS traversal for the graph. And for doing this traversal, we use stacks as the data structure. Stacks data structure help us out in doing the DFS traversal of the graph.